Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. If you feel like you've seen this look before, it's because I just ended my other vlog and I'm starting this new one. Um, I wanted to show you guys, we got so many packages in. There's a rug, there's a high chair, that's just Hobbs' food, so ignore that. And then there's a few other things right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open, probably not the high chair, I'm gonna set that up later, but one of these is the Christmas garlands that I ordered, the faux cedar pine garland that I ordered. Um, this is the garland that we had last year that I put up. I had it in a video with our um, Christmas decor, but I wanted to show you guys like kind of like a close up of this because it's in stock currently as I speak, as I share this. So I'm hoping by the time I post this video, it's still in stock because it's a really great garland and it will sell out. So I'm gonna show it to you. Let me open this box really quick. Okay, so I just opened one. I have a few more in here. I think I ordered five, but I have like 20 more downstairs. I ordered so much last year so I could fill my house, but I needed a few more. Um, this actually looks really similar to the Crate and Barrel Pine Garland. I did a lot of research last year um, and ended up on this and these so don't be surprised by the price It's actually like half the price maybe even less than that of The one that's at crate and barrel, but I love these like the quality in my opinion for the price is really good Somebody on Instagram had asked me if it looks real and my answer to that is no fake garland looks real I literally don't think any faux garland looks real um, This stuff looks really good though. So if you here, let me zoom in if you guys see, like, it's the attention to detail is, like, pretty good with these. Um, the other thing that I like about it is if you come up to, like, the branch part, these have, how do I show this to you? These have, like, um, wires in them. You see the wires? And you can, like, kind of, like, maneuver them around. So once you have it, like, placed up on your mantle or wherever you um, want to hang these, you can kind of, like, adjust it to make it look like fuller like you can like pull all of these out to make them like look fuller and more you know just look nicer um the other thing that i love about this is they're kind of like wis wispy i don't know if that's the right term they're just like they drape really well um so yeah i'm a fan of these so if you're looking for a garland that looks similar to this i will link this down below and Really quick, because I really do have to get back to work. Um, we got this rug in, you guys. It's from Layla Grace. Um, we're gonna, we plan to put this in like the den area where the dark, the dark um, sectional is that we have um, for Shay, like her, like where all her play stuff is. And the reason we wanted to replace the rug is, I'll show you guys in a second, but the other rug that we have in there currently is not really meant for a high traffic area. Like if you like run on it too much or like met, like move it around too much, like it does kind of shed a lot. Um, this one is like really nice. My sister actually has one similar to this from, I think hers is one, I wanna say West Elm. And we had spilt something on it when we were over there the other day and it just came right up. So I feel like rugs like this are perfect for high traffic areas because you can just pretty much clean them pretty easily. Now I have not tested a stain on this yet, so don't take my word for it, but it looks similar to the other one and yeah, we're gonna test it out. But the other reason that I bought this one is, is because it has like a slight pattern. Um, the gray obviously matches the gray couch, but any stain that we do get on it will just kind of hopefully blend in a little bit better than our other rug. And to just show you guys what we have currently I'm gonna say ignore all the mess, but it actually can get messier in here. I just haven't picked up. I usually put all her toys back in that little bin thing, but she's taking a nap right now, so there's that. But this is the rug that we have in here currently. And if you'll see, like, you can see stains and stuff in it really, really well. It also, like, kind of attracts Hobbs' dog hairs, which I don't love. So this is just not really easy to clean. Um, so we're going to move this out of this area since we do plan to keep like her, all of her stuff in here. All right, so now I am about to go do double duty and feed Shay a bottle while also being on a work Zoom call because if you haven't watched my last vlog, Shay is still 
at home full time because we had pulled her out of daycare. Um, my mom does come next week to help, thank God. I'm so grateful for my mom. And our nanny starts in November, so I'm excited to have some help around here. But for now, I am going to be feeding her while also on a Zoom call, but I don't have to be on video until my next call after that. So I think it should be fine. catch her she like basically face planted into the what's this called like hay straw, straw. Hay. the hay um, and I'm like really sad that I didn't catch her in time and there was like another mom that was like totally judging us that we let our baby fall face first but it is what it is <laughs> thank you thanks for seeing. thank you Cool. You've probably already seen all of these things, haven't you, Mom? There's like socks. You sure did. What's in the... Cool. I just realized this. I remember seeing this in the other play kits, but I didn't read it. So there's like a suggested timeline, which I think is kind of cool. So it's like start with this one, which is this book um, and then just like different yeah they just give you a guideline which I think is kind of cool which obviously you can play with it how you want to but I just love that because it's you know when they're a certain age I feel like I mean I don't I'm not an expert at toys so it's kind of nice to have them direct you and then it says at five months which she is six months well I guess technically she's preemie so she could be at the five month milestones it says your baby may track things that move with their eyes, see in color in three dimensions. Oh, I didn't know. We think she likes green because she loves to look at like sports on TV and trees. She loves that. So we think we might, she might like green. But anyway, now they tell you how to use it. So here's that book that I just showed you and it shows you what you can do with the book, how to do it, why to do it. And yeah, it's just helpful and then the other thing I was mentioning I like let me turn you around I mentioned this on Instagram the other day but we personally love love every because we don't I don't love to have a ton of toys in my house my mom is feeding Shay right now and she's looking at me like I know but um I just don't love a lot of stuff like I like to pick up after pretty much every time she's down here playing it's just I like to keep it somewhat organized and I feel like Love Every is really, really good at keeping it minimal in terms of like, these are the bare minimum of toys that you really need for development. 
Um, and if you hear most minimalists talk about like toys in general, like a lot of minimalists don't even give their kids toys. They let them play with like the um, just like household items, like a broom, just to kind of like copy what the mom is doing. But um, these are specifically designed for children and they are developed with the children's developmental milestones in mind. So I think that that's really great. So if you didn't buy any toys, really, their whole concept is that they would just have these kits sent to you. You have the toys that you need. You don't really need more, but if you want to buy more for your kids, of course, you're welcome to do that too. But they are also really designed well. They're like wood. There is color, but it's not like an overwhelming, like in your face color like some toys are. But you know, they're kids, so there's got to be color in there as well. But yeah, we're going to play with these with Shay and see what she thinks. Continue with our bedroom update. We got a mattress. So this is actually a king mattress that's like wrapped up in this like tiny little ball. It's like super heavy, but we were gonna open it up and let it kind of air out in our, whatever you call this, like foyer area before we bring it into our bed and try it. So I'll tell you a little bit more about it, but I'm gonna open it up really quick and then we'll take a look. Okay, so we just opened it and this is kind of what it looks like it still needs to like fluff up a little bit more um, I mean if you buy a bed in a box all of them have to be like that anyway so I believe they said it's like a 72 hour like that's what you should give it before you like try and sleep on it just so it like gets all the air in that it needs and all of that I wanted to show you guys this because I don't think I've shared this on YouTube yet I have been in an all-out mission. Here, let me turn you around really quick and then I'll show you the details. So I have been in an all-out mission lately to make our bed like a comfortable place to be. Um, I think when quarantine started, so in like 2020, I can't believe, I feel like that was forever ago, but um, Taylor had purchased a new mattress for us not my favorite and then of course I got pregnant and it really wasn't my favorite because when you're pregnant you just want to feel really comfortable so I'm not pregnant anymore I didn't fix it while I was like going through that but I had a brand reach out to me for a partnership over on Instagram and I accepted it one of the main reasons being I was actually already on the hunt for like new bedding and just like something to replace our other bedding and we ended up going with so the whole the partnership was for the duvet comforter which we really needed a duvet comforter but we ended up in in addition to the duvet getting the pillows and the mattress topper so i wanted to share those with you guys because i actually love them and i love them so much that i'm actually buying my parents the duvet for christmas um they already know my mom already knows we're getting it my dad probably doesn't watch these videos so Surprise dad, if you watch these, we're getting you a comforter for Christmas. But we're getting him, we're getting them the insert, and I say them together. It is a little bit pricier, but you guys, like, it is so worth it. Like, I now feel maybe spoiled in the fact that I have tried this out because it's so nice. Like, it's like, I've been, you know when you go to a nice hotel room and you're like, where on earth do these, like, bedding like where does bedding come from like I swear it's like this company and they have a lot of like good like morals and like um everything is like 
clean and environmental friendly and all of that. So of course I accepted that partnership selfishly because I wanted to try out their products, but also it was like a great thing to be able to share with you guys as well. I do have a discount code, I'll put that down below. Um, this part is not paid, but I do love it. So I wanted to show them to you guys because I don't know, I feel like this is like a secret that I need to like share. It's so good. So this is obviously with like sheets and everything on it, which I actually just bought all this sheet set from Amazon. So I'll link those down below as well. I love the duvet um, cover that I got off Amazon. It's just like a linen duvet. Um, the sheets are okay. I noticed like every time you wash them, they get softer. So at first when we tried them out, we we're like, man, these are like kind of stiff, but they're feeling better and better like as we're wearing them in a little bit. Um, so take what you want from that. Um, still, you know, this, the jury's still out kind of on the sheet set, but I'll link both of those down below also. But really what I wanted to show you guys is this duvet. So let me open it and kind of show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is the duvet like comforter insert. Um, one other thing about this duvet cover off of Amazon, it's a zipper. I can't find the zipper part now right now. Oh, here it is. It's a zipper, so it's not like those annoying buttons like that you have to like button at the end. I feel like every duvet comforter I've ever had has had buttons and not a zipper. I love the zipper. I don't know why every duvet cover doesn't have a zipper, so love that. Um, this insert though is one of the most comfortable, luxurious inserts that I've ever had. And like I mentioned earlier, I was actually doing some research on duvet inserts um, before the partnership happened. And the ones that I was looking at was actually around the same price range. So yeah, I mean, they are kind of an investment, but like I said, I was already kind of in the market for that price range and I just felt like this is a good partnership. So if you were like looking for a duvet insert and you don't really know which one to choose, I truly believe this is one of the most comfortable ones that I've ever had. It is like so far so good. Like so far it's like staying up. We've had it for a few weeks now. Not I don't I don't think we've had it for a month, but we've had it for a little bit. Um and it's been great. The pillows are great too. I still use my if I'm being honest, I still use my Brookstone pillow as like my main pillow every night. Um, but Taylor does use the down pillows that are also part of their collection. They are really, really comfortable. I'm just like super used to this one and have kind of like broken it in, if you can tell. So, you know, I'm stuck in my ways a little bit. And then, let me show you this too. Okay, so this is the topper. This was actually not part of the partnership. It was kind of sent after the fact, um, but I'm obsessed with it. So I wanted to share it just in case you were looking for a topper as well. It is a goose down feather topper um, and it's meant to feel kind of like cloud-like, but it's not, how do I explain this? It's it's not, and this is based on like a, week, like a few weeks use of it. It hasn't flattened out to the point where, you know sometimes like feather toppers can just be like flat and then you're just laying in this like flat feathers and it's actually like not that comfortable. So far, this one has not done that. I have heard you're supposed to continue to fluff them. So we will see about that. But I just love how like thick it is. And like I mentioned, I don't love this mattress. So yeah, I love how thick this one is. It actually really did help. And this bed is now completely comfortable. Like it is I look forward to getting into it at night. Wanted to share if you guys were in the market. I'll put that information down below. So now to continue with that, the mattress that I shared with you guys earlier is a gifted product. So and the, I, I tread lightly on accepting gifting products just so that you guys know. I don't accept probably 90%. Um, but I was in the market for a mattress because I don't love the mattress that we have like the whole stipulation behind the gifting was to give my honest review they're literally not asking for anything except for me to be honest so of course I can do that um, there's no other obligation outside of that so I am gonna try it out tonight I'm gonna do it without the feather topper that I just showed you guys because obviously I want it to, I want to see what it feels like just without anything like if you were to get it without a topper so we're gonna switch out this mattress and see how we feel about the new one
Hey guys, we are in Nashville for the la last, well, we got here yesterday, so we'll be here over the weekend. Um, Taylor's actually here working, and I just decided to come along because my sister lives here, so we're at her house right now um, so that Shay can hang out with her cousin. Um, my sister has a little boy. And um, so yeah, we decided to come up. I'm about to head to Blanc Studio. I guess it's Nashville because my friend Allie, who owns Blanc Studio West in Atlanta, opened a location in Nashville um, like a month or two ago. I think it's been like two months at this point. And it's stunning. Of course, it's just as beautiful as her Atlanta location. It is a little different. Um, she styled it just slightly different, so which I think is kind of fun. So I'm about to go check that out. And I figured it'd be fun to show you guys her new studio in Nashville. <clears throat> All right, we just made it to Blanc. How, was it Blanc Studio Nashville? Uh, yeah. Do you want to be in Blanc? There? No. Okay. <laughs> Blanc Studio West Nashville. And I wanted to show you guys around. It's so beautiful. I'm so, so proud of my friend Allie for putting this together. So let's show you. All right, you guys, I wanted to show you. Hi. <laughs> um, I wanted to show you guys this rug. We finally got it out. We actually have had it laid out like this for like probably a week now, and we love it. So this will be kind of an area where we keep some of Shay's toys. We will put, we're actually about to move some rooms around, which I'll explain to you um, when we start to do that. But one of the rooms we're moving around is her nursery to another bigger room so that we can have a playroom up there to keep most of her toys so it's not just like out. But we will keep some down here. So I wanted a rug that was like comfortable enough to like sit on and play on, but also able to clean um, and just also like hide. Like if there were to be a, a spill or any sort of stain, um, I feel like these this like pattern just like will really hide it, obviously, because now we have, a, we have a dog as well. So. The other rug did not hide Hobbs' hair very well and it just wasn't doing it for us. And I did order a coffee table, so we have to, I need to like style this room up um, and kind of like move some of her stuff around. But we have, we're gonna move those two chairs that's currently in my bedroom um, to out here. They were supposed to be out here, but we moved them in there when we had Shay because she was sleeping in our room and we didn't have any chairs in there. I just quickly wanted to show you guys this because I thought it was just like a really nice rug that I'm absolutely obsessed with. So I'll link it down below if you're interested in taking a look. So in other news, we have tried out the new mattress that I was mentioning. Um, we've tried it out for three nights now. So we went out of town this weekend, but it was two nights before we went out of town and then um, last night. I am delighted to say that the quality that you get for this Avinco mattress for the price that the price tag that's on it is actually really good. Um, I was pretty shocked because I didn't realize, you know, I went to go check the price and see like what it would be. Um, way cheaper than the other delivery company that we have been using. All in all, I'll say I do like this one. I think we are going to keep this one on our bed versus the one we had beforehand. I'll leave information about it down below, but like I said, it's a super affordable option. I was like actually shocked when I looked at the price tag. So if you're interested in that and you're looking for a bed that will ship quickly to your house, I feel like this is a great option. So I'll leave that information down below. Um, and feel free to let me know if you have any questions on it. I am going to end this vlog here. Oh, 
I didn't tell you guys my nanny drama. Like I am so shocked that this happened to us, but apparently it's pretty normal, but let me just tell you my story. So I had mentioned in a previous vlog that um, we had hired a nanny for, cause we pulled Shay out of daycare and we were so excited for her to start and she ghosted us. <laughs> So everyone kept asking me, like, what does that mean? Like, she literally just didn't show up. Oh, were you playing? You want to show everyone how you play with this? So the Monday before she, or the Friday before she was starting, I had texted her. And I wanted to ask her, like, some questions and then have a, like, set a start date for her on Monday. And she didn't respond on Friday, which I thought was weird because she, like, always was responding to me beforehand. And she just, like, didn't that day. Um, hold on, I'm gonna sit down with her and look in this mirror. One second. Look at you. Look. You wanna look in the mirror? Shay likes to usually look at herself in the mirror, but she's looking around today. Um, anyway, so she like didn't respond on Friday, which again I thought was odd. And so I texted her again on Saturday, and she did respond saying, okay, let's talk on Sunday. Um, are you looking at me while I'm filming? I know. Um, she's like, okay, let's talk on Sunday at 12. So she like set Sunday at 12 is when she wanted to talk. So on Sunday, I called her at 12, and she didn't answer. So I texted her, like giving her the benefit of the doubt, maybe something's going on. Like, you know, just nothing was like too worrisome at that point. So. Um, I called her, texted her, and she, this was on Halloween, so we were, like, had planned to do some stuff that week, that night. So she didn't answer, and then it was starting to get close to the time we were going to this, like, Halloween party for Shay, and I had just wanted to get everything ironed out before we went there, so I called her again, and she didn't answer, texted her again, still no response. And later that night, before we went to bed, I just finally texted her and was like, okay, well, I'm just going to assume that you're starting on Sunday because I haven't heard from you. I'm starting on Monday because I haven't heard from you and like we really are relying on you to start because like I needed so, like help you guys. Like I was at the point where I was so overwhelmed. Like doing it by yourself is not sustainable. So yeah, on Monday rolled around and she just didn't show up. So Saturday was the last day I had heard from her when she was setting a time to talk on Sunday and she literally ghosted us. Like just no response, still haven't heard from her. And it's been like a week and a half, but that Monday I was so overwhelmed. I literally like climbed into my bed and cried. I was like, there's so much I have to do and I can't comprehend even taking any sort of steps. So I literally just got in my bed and cried, but you know, sometimes you need to cry and then you just get up and like get your shit done. So we did get to hire another nanny, which I'm so excited about. Um, because it is actually somebody that we know, which is great because you can't ghost somebody that you know, but also like we know she's a good person, so that's good. And she started yesterday, which is amazing because we, like I said, really needed the help. And she was great with Shay and everything's going really great. So I just wanted to share that nanny drama with you guys. So my memory card's full, so I need to end this soon, but I just wanted to share that nanny drama with you guys because I know some of you had reached out to me and said the same thing happened to you, which is insane that people can just like not show up when you're relying on them but everything worked out um i think everything happens for a reason so thank god she wasn't our actual nanny because you know she shown her she showed her colors before we really like were in the, d the deep of it with her i guess um but i'm gonna go i am going to end this vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my youtube channel um, in my next vlog, which I'm about to start filming like pretty much right away, I am going to start shopping for some Christmas decor because I don't know about you guys, but I feel like super behind. Like everyone had their Christmas decor up basically on like Halloween and it's like the, in the second week in November and I still don't have mine up. So I plan to do all of that this weekend and get everything up so I can film and share with you guys what we're doing over here in case you need some inspo for your house. Um, but yeah, a few other exciting things is we're going to be moving some rooms around upstairs, namely so we can get Shay a bigger room so we can have her playroom in her room so her stuff isn't just like everywhere. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a good one and I will see you guys on my next vlog.